Hi, this is Paul Gearhead Works, and today I've got my IDF model to bore here, and we're going to be replacing the factory installed MEPRO with our new IDF top rail. It's going to be a direct replacement. You don't need the additional adapters or anything like you would if you were trying to go to a flat top rail. Now, first thing you got to do, obviously, is make sure your gun is clear. We've removed the bolt, so our gun is clear. Then we can start tearing this down. We're going to uh, remove the forearm as well as the sling swivel. Forearm comes off. Okay. Next, we're gonna have to remove the barrel by using the cam pin. Now I've got my tool here. I want to push in on the latch on the other side, and then. Can that over. Now the barrel is loose. So here is our MEPRO. As you can see, tailed on with these two clamps right here. So we're simply going to take a socket, loosen these up. This will pop right off. Now that's a uh, this mount is integrated into the sight right here. So this whole piece will come off as a unit. So now we've got the gas block here and the barrel and we can put this uh, rail on. Now if you see this has got a, a Picatinny rail mating surface cut into it. So what you're going to do is hook it on the, first, the front one first. These are offset just a little bit so you don't have to hit both of them at the same time. So you want to try to get it hooked on that front one. And then line it up on the back one and once you get them lined up they'll go right on slide right on there now the hardware comes with it so what you want to do is drop a nut down in here now instead of threading the aluminum I decided to do nut inserts and that way in case you ever strip one out taking it on and off whatever it's just a matter of replacing the nut instead of having to replace the entire rail or putting a helicoil in it or something like that so drop your nut in there flip it over You'll have to line up the slot. Once you get the slot lined up, the bolt will go right in. Kind of loosely start it. Go to the other side. You can put the nut on the screw to get it in the hole and then just unscrew the screw. Hold it in. Alright, now once you get them both started, you snug them both down. That's all there is to it. That thing's on there. It's not going anywhere. So then you just got to put your gun back together. It's a pretty simple operation. Slide the barrel in. Cam your barrel back to hear the click. You're latched in. Stick your charging handle on. Sling swivel. Little cotter pin goes in there. Put your forearm back on. Of course, we're using a TMF here. 
new M lock. And that's it. All done. The gun's put back together. You can put uh, a sight on here now, whichever kind of sight you like. Whether you want to run, you know, maybe you want to run an aim point now. It's a standard 1913 full lug picatinny rail so that you can run, uh, you know, any mount that you want. Now you want to run with the IDF model, what you can do is use our QD magnifier mount and run a magnifier with an optic or switch and go to night vision. The, your optic, your magnifier, your night vision will stay on the rail and the whole rail just simply quick detaches. Now you want to switch, you can put a magnified optic on here, like an ACOG. Now you've got, you've gone from the factory Metro to a four power Trishcon ACOG. And it's really that easy. It's super simple. The, the rail is solid as a rock. And, I'll take this off where you can see it a little bit better. The rail is USA mount compatible. So if you have a laser aiming device, you want to mount on the side here, you can have your laser designator and still have your sight on top of the gun. Then put your laser on right next to your sight. It still fits. So that's how the USA system works. And that's it. You've, you've just accomplished uh, getting rid of your factory map pro and going to the optic of your choice. If you got any questions, of course, you can email me at info at gearheadworks.com. And these are available now on the web store. Thank you.